I think the key take home message here is that the Delta variant is different. It is different from the strains we saw early in the pandemic. It is more infectious, so it spreads more easily from person to person. And the levels of virus in people who are infected are a thousand times higher in their nose and their throat than they would have been with the early strains of the virus. So if you imagine that there's so much more virus in the body, even if a child maybe early in the pandemic wouldn't have had a severe infection, now with that much more virus, we're seeing kids getting sick. We're seeing kids potentially transmitting onward to others. And this is different. This is Delta. Mm. You know, businesses are, are busy trying to figure out when people should return to work. Medically speaking, were those who were thinking about coming back right after Labor Day, sh should they be postponing? This really comes down to whether your workforce is vaccinated. Vaccination is the way out of this pandemic. Some people have compared COVID to the flu. That is not a correct comparison, but we could turn COVID into something much more mild like the flu through vaccination. So if you're able to get your workforce vaccinated, I think it's a completely different calculation than if you're not. You know, vaccination rates are growing in areas of need, which is great news, but is it too little too late to fight back against this variant? I think it's never too little too late. Uh, anytime we can save lives, we absolutely should do that. So I think everyone is really in the public health community, many uh, local and state officials, the federal government in many parts of the country are trying to double down on our efforts to get folks vaccinated. And I really hope that some of those states that haven't completely come on board start to see uh, how important it is as they see the rates of hospitalizations and deaths skyrocketing again in states like uh, Louisiana and Florida. Vin Gupta, our, our doctor around here, is recommending that people who got J&J's shot go get a booster, one of Pfizer or Moderna, if you can figure out how to do it. Do you agree or not? I think it really depends on your risk profile. Are you an elderly person? Do you live in a nursing home? Uh, do you have a highly immunosuppressive condition? Johnson & Johnson, uh, their vaccine was initially uh, authorized by the FDA as a low dose, one dose. Uh, and they've actually been studying two doses, higher doses. And that data is expected out later this week or oh. uh, later next month or this month. So we should have a more definitive answer to that question shortly. All right. Dr. Gallander, great to see you. Thank you.